Elon Musk apologized to the British cave diver who was the subject of a slew of insults following last week's rescue of 12 boys and their coach from a Thai cave. Musk said his comments against Vernon Unsworth, which included the use of the term pedo, were said in anger after Mr. Unsworth said several untruths and suggested I engage in a sexual act with the mini-sub. The Tesla and SpaceX CEO had engineers build a mini-submarine to be used to extract the boys since they didn't know how to swim. The head of the rescue mission Arang Sako Satana Kern declined the offer for assistance, calling Musk's technology not practical. Professional rescuers ultimately got the boys out using stretchers, but Musk decided to leave the sub in Thailand in case it may be useful in the future. Musk's ire likely stemmed from an interview Unsworth did with CNN during which Unsworth criticized Musk's idea, calling it just a PR stunt. He can stick his submarine where it hurts, Unsworth said. It just had absolutely no chance of working. He had no conception of what the cave passage was like. As this well-written article suggests, my words were spoken in anger after Mr. Unsworth said several untruths and suggested I engage in a sexual act with the mini-sub, which had been built as an act of kindness and according to specifications from the dive team leader. Nonetheless, his actions against me do not justify my actions against him, and for that I apologize to Mr. Unsworth and to the companies I represent as leader. The fault is mine and mine alone. Tesla investors had requested that Musk apologize. James Anderson, a partner at Bailey Gifford, Tesla's fourth largest shareholder, told The Guardian that it was frustrated that the real steps towards this are being overshadowed and undermined by this saga. The exchange with Vern Unsworth crossed the line, said the letter, written by managing partner Gene Munster. I suspect you would agree given you deleted the string from Twitter, but it will take more than that to regain investor confidence. Your behavior is fueling an unhelpful perception of your leadership, thin-skinned and short-tempered. Thankfully, the road to regaining investor confidence is well-traveled.IT starts with an apology.